Central Greece, the Peloponnese. Central Greece and the Peloponnese are places where mythology, history, and modern times have all become bound together in a strong and unbreakable magical web. Everywhere visitors go, they find themselves in well-known but unique places. Delphi, the navel of the earth with the famous oracle of Apollo, the mythical mountain Parnassus, the seven-gated city of Thebes, which was the city of Oedipus and Antigone, and which was the birthplace of the Greek alphabet. Chalkida, built over the Strait of Euripus, which is famous for the very strange tidal phenomenon to be seen here. The water changes direction every six hours, and some days it even changes direction 14 times in 24 hours. Thermopylae, where Leonidas and his 300 Spartan men fought, Marathon and Salamis with their famous battles against the Persians, Mycenae, famed for its palaces and vaulted tombs where the gold mask of Agamemnon was found, Epidaurus with its famous amphitheater, Byzantine Monembasia, Sparta with its impressive history lying at the foot of Mount Taigetos, rich Messini, Pylos, the mythical kingdom of Nestor, cosmopolitan Olympia, and finally Athens, dedicated to the goddess Athena. A modern city has been built over the ancient city, but as you wander around modern-day Athens, you will keep coming across the remains of the ancient city. Athens is not just the Acropolis and the Parthenon, the ancient and Roman Agora and the huge temple of Poseidon at Sunion. The city also has Byzantine churches, picturesque neighborhoods in the Placa, and beautiful neoclassical buildings in the city center, as well as its vast coastline with its beautiful beaches, which is just half an hour from the city center, Vuliagmeni Lake, and the nearby Saronic Islands Aegina, Hydra, and Poros. Who would imagine that just one hour from the city center, you could be in an island paradise? Central Greece and the Peloponnese are mountainous, with both bare stone mountains and mountains covered in alpine flora and fauna, all just a short distance from beautiful beaches and seas. There are modern ski resorts in Parnassus, Carpenisi, Menalo, and Calavrida, and fantastic mountain trails, ravines, small lakes and fast rivers for canoeing and rafting, hot springs, harbors, and endless beaches, all of which are easily accessible to the visitor. So, here you can enjoy the beautiful countryside, which is the ideal setting for all kinds of trips and sports. These are the areas where the Greek Revolution of 1821 began, and also where the modern Greek state was subsequently created. The first capital of Greece was Nafplio, with its Phoenician castle. The people who live in these areas have strong ties to the land which they have cultivated since ancient times. Each May, the plains of the Peloponnese fill with the scent of orange and lemon blossoms. Olives ripen in the sunlight, and it is here that the most famous olive oils in Greece are made. The gentle hills are covered in vineyards. The Peloponnese is famous for its wines, but also for its excellent raisins, fruits, vegetables, cheeses, and honeys. In the mountains of central Greece, herds of sheep and goats graze freely, giving delicious cheeses and dairy products. Olive trees cover the whole coastline, and Mesolonghi is famous for its salt and for the fish from its sea lake, and the natural fish row, Grey Mullet Botarga. Today, we will sample lamb with vegetables cooked Peloponnese style. This will be complemented with a Nemea wine from the Aioritico grape one of the oldest varieties in Greece. The Tsakonian dance, with its circular shapes, reflects Theseus wandering through the Minotaur's labyrinth and is based on rhythmic patterns of ancient Greek music. The Tsamikos originated from the war dances the rebel fighters danced after day-long battles, so they could have some fun and show their prowess and physical strength. The Tsamikos and the last dance, the Sirtos, are based on the rhythmic patterns of ancient Greek music.